Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Red Hat Summit 2016. Brought to you by Red Hat. Now, here are your hosts, Stu Miniman and Brian Gracely. Welcome back to theCUBE, SiliconANGLE Media's flagship program. We go out to all the great enterprise technology shows, help extract the signal from the noise. I'm Stu Miniman, joined with my co-host Louis Brian Gracely. As I mentioned, we've got three days of coverage. This is the day two kickoff. Uh, we're going to have Paul Carmier, who's uh, the president and keynote speaker this morning, uh, joining us shortly. Uh, but uh, to just want to kind of set the stage. Uh, yesterday, uh, we had some great segments uh, fr from uh, the executives and customers uh, and uh, some of the partners here. Uh, you know, Red Hat is over $2 billion worth of revenue. Uh, still got some strong growth rate in uh, the, the, their standard product lines. Uh, and they've got some great emerging products that, that are growing there. Uh, our, our take on the announcement so far is, uh, I think, Brian, containers, containers, more containers. containers uh, yes. So, um, you know, what, what, what's your take on the morning keynote so far? So I, I, there was three big pieces to me. One was, uh, you know, Paul talked about it feels like everything's changing at the same time. Things are not only becoming software, we've got, you know, public cloud, we've got private cloud. He talked about open hybrid cloud. Uh, it, you know, in essence, the core piece of that was when everything's going crazy like that, you can't expect one company to sort of be able to innovate, harness it, and do everything. You've got to build on community. Uh, Paul highlighted that. Uh, spent a lot of time highlighting the breadth of the portfolio. It's no longer just RHEL and JBoss. It's containers, it's platforms, it's storage, it's application developer tools. Uh, so spent a lot of time on that. And then they did a really nice job, although it you know, took a while to get to, but really kind of showcasing a demonstration that says, these are how all the components play together. This is what it looks like when you've got uh, modern applications, when you're making changes to modern applications based on feedback. Uh, so they did a very nice job, I think, of sort of highlighting when you've got this kind of chaos, how do you have to deal with it? Uh, kind of reinforces Jim's thing, and then showing you know, the technology breadth and showing it in action. Yeah, uh, it reminds me, I think back to Paul Moritz said, you know, that you need open source and you need those communities to really help accelerate uh, both the innovation and the development of what's going on. Uh, you know, used to be before, you know, a couple companies would make a technology, you'd build some standard, it would take years to a deployment. We're really seeing a squashing of those cycles. Uh, and as Paul Cormier said this morning, that fast pace of change would not be uh, possible without the power of open source development. Right. Um, so, you know, d definitely an area that, you know, we, we've kept a good look on. Um, Brian, we've got a little bit of a chance to go through the, the expo floor here, so, some different areas. Uh, what, yeah. what, what's your take on, on this kind of ecosystem versus some of the other uh, shows that we do in cloud and infrastructure? Yeah, I, you know, I think a couple things. One, we are seeing a lot of blurring of the ecosystems. We see a lot of the same companies in terms of you know, large provider, you know, large vendors, whether that's server vendors, uh, you know, software vendors like SAP, you know, server vendors Dell and HP and Cisco and so forth. Uh, but you know, there, there is a very good mix of uh, you know, open source source sort of uh, ISVs, we're seeing you know, SaaS companies, so we're seeing that part of the model here as well. Uh, we're seeing people you know, putting Linux on ARM. Um, so you know, every one of these shows has their own sort of uniqueness to the community, but we are seeing, look, the, the trends are coming together. It's about mobile, it's about moving faster, it's about cloud native, it's about software defined. And you know, I think what we're seeing is the leading companies that are running these shows, they're driving these communities more so than maybe we, we would have seen in the past with the hardware driven shows. Yeah, absolutely. We've got uh, another setup of theCUBE down the road at the Hadoop Summit and uh, one of the keynote speakers there from Microsoft is the same person that's giving a keynote uh, here, here on the program. So, yep. uh, you know, definitely, uh, uh, we, we talked to Jim Whitehurst yesterday, talked about, uh, you know, Hortonworks is another, you know, publicly traded, right. you know, open source based company. Uh, so, uh, lo lots going on there. All right, uh, Brian, uh, you know, we, uh, we've got lots of good guests coming on. Yep. Uh, what are you looking forward to today? Well, I think today a lot of it is going to be, you know, two big things, containers, as you talked about, a lot around application developers, really people understanding you know, what do all these buzzwords mean? You know, cloud native, hybrid, DevOps, microservices. We're going to get some reality checks with that. And then we're going to see you know, what's important to developers. How, do we, how is Red Hat helping them go faster? How are them you know, do it in a more secure way? So those two themes are going to be really strong today. And then obviously we'll see you know, what the ecosystem partners have to say that are going to come in the afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Red Hat's got a nice uh, Dev Nation show that I believe it's the third year they've been running that show. Yeah. And, and heck, in the keynote this morning, they had this 
uh, cool little thing that it was, uh, they, they had a video game that everybody could play, um, and uh, due to the kind of platform nature of the way they ro rolled it out, they could make changes to the game, they could add things uh, and move things, and uh, one of the developers that was running it, he had like this, you know, red and like blue, like colored beard, uh, you know, <laughs> definitely what you expect in uh, kind absolutely. of a, a cool developer show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, all right, so uh, we've got lots of coverage here all day. Uh, stay tuned to SiliconAngle.tv. I'm Stu with Brian Gracely, and you're watching theCUBE.